One of the most important things I tell people to get is a latex surgical 316 inch tubing. We have to use this to strengthen our rotator cuff, which is right back here. I'm going to show you a couple exercises here to do each day. If you're a junior player, I suggest you do these twice a day, before and after you practice. If you're an adult, do these three times a day, before, during, and after you practice. The first one, what we do is we hold the tube right here by our side, and we hold the tube with our hitting arm. Make sure your elbow is touching your side, your arm is at 90 degrees, and pull away easily, like this. Always keep your elbow touching the side of your, of your waist, and make sure your arm is at 90 degrees. That's the first one. The second one, you're going to add one more bend, step on it with your right foot, right here, bring it up so you have a 90 degree bend here, and a 90 degree bend here. Should look like this and then rotate up. Do about 10 or 15 exercises of each of these. Make sure that you have form over strength. Don't bring your arm in here, but make sure this angle right here is 90 degrees. 90 here, 90 here. Don't move your elbow. Rotate up. Okay? Third one. If you're right-handed, you're going to step on it and it's going to come from the outside of your left foot. What you're going to do is you're going to pronate your thumb, turn it down, keep your arm straight, rotate up, and turn outwards, just like you're signaling for a touchdown here. Left hip, arm straight, turn out. Left hip, arm straight, turn out. Left hip, arm straight, turn out. This is what we call a PNF exercise, proprioneural facilitator. The fourth one, is, is specifically designed for volleyball itself. One of the hardest things to teach in the sport of volleyball is how to rotate your arm back like this, okay? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this band, hold it right out in front of your face, grab it with your hitting hand, and develop this hitting angle right here, okay? So if it's right here, what you're gonna do is you're gonna pull back, and your hand's gonna go over your head, and you're gonna line up these two arms, okay? Elbow high, rotate. Elbow high, rotate. Elbow high, rotate. Always maintaining this angle. Don't let it expand out like that. Make sure you get this all the way back so these two parts of your arm are lined up. The last one you don't even need a band for. What I want you to do is pronate your hand one more time. Bring it out about 45 degrees away from your body and go up and down just like this. Okay, up, down, 45 degrees away from your body, and this is your supraspinatus. This is your hitting muscle right there. Again, no shoulder, no higher than your shoulder height, and try to pinch back your shoulders as you do this to, in, to uh, isolate your, your rotator cuff. Do these exercises two to three times a day, and you're going to hit better in about two months. You're going to serve better in three months, and you're not going to have any injuries.